Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, peoples! Welcome to another video! Sorry, guys. <laughs> I thought I could do it, but... Uh, anyway... Yes, in Australia we're past midnight, and it's Christmas Day today. The whole thing came about because mates keep telling me that I look like Santa, so I thought I left my beard untouched, dressed a beard in red, <laughs> then tried to, to to do the whole thing but um anyway welcome to another video today i got something special for you grab your cuppa find a comfort seat let's do this probably something special to the noise so today we're gonna review if we can grab it we're gonna review the elgato key light since we are in christmas theme i i thought to review this key light because honestly it's the best lighting solution for streamers i've been eyeing it for a long time but since it's christmas i got myself a gift and what better way to give myself than you know share it with you guys with my viewers so without further ado let's go have a look at the b-roll and then we're going to go into some specs and all the geeky stuff Now, I'm gonna show you how to add it in Windows. Uh, if you want the Mac version and the mobile version, I'm happy to do a full off video. Just let me know down in the comments below. So first of all, we go into the Elgato website. We click on downloads, select your products, any of the lights will do. Then we are set up to Windows, then we hit download. Once it's finished downloading, just follow the process to install it. That's very, very easy. It will appear on your taskbar at the bottom with this icon. Click on it and it will give you all the light. I have more than one light. If you just click on the plus, search in accessories. So you click on the plus, Elgato key light connect then you put it in your passwords of your wi-fi make sure there is 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi because otherwise it won't work it will connect to your wi-fi it may take a minute it will switch on and switch off a few times so don't be alarmed and you can see <laughs> the light is switching on switching on let's just keep through until the end now it's done. Elgato Kila FFA connected to the network, which is my, my network successfully. Finish. You can see on the bottom right, 
I already had it before, but if you want to change things, you have accessory settings and you can set the, the name on whatever you want because I have one on the left and one on the right. Obviously, I put, you know, key, key lights on the right, key lights on the left. You can identify it. So it will flash a few times to let you know which one it is. Some specs. Temperature goes from 7,000 Kelvin to 2.9 thousand kelvin which is very very warm color of outside light is about 4500 that's what i usually keep it on and you can go from three percent which is very light right up until 100 percent sorry <laughs> i did it too fast anyway i usually keep it on 40 percent because that's enough for me i know it's still maybe a bit bright if you had any light strip for example from Elgato, you could change as well the color from here we saw what they look like we saw a few specs i'll give you my personal feedback about it i just want to start by mentioning that i bought two key lights with my own money this is not a sponsor video unless of course Elgato he decides to sponsor me since you know, this is not the first product that I buy. <laughs> it will save me a little bit of money. I personally think that it's a great, great solution for streamers. You don't have to buy two. You, you can only do with one uh, if you don't have the budget because being a premium product with the build quality like Elgato has, it sure costs, you know, a bit more than others. But A, as I was mentioning, the build quality is very high. Um, the ease of use, turn on and turn it off from the desktop or using the Stream Deck or even your phone uh, through the app. It's so convenient that it's unbelievable. But to be honest, this is not my first product of Agato and I had a bit of a problem with the grip at the bottom. Now the build quality has always impressed me. This is why I bought quite a few things from Bugato. To be a fair review, I have to say everything. So the clamp at the bottom, it broke on me while I was trying to fix the light to my disc. So it still works, but it's off. So I have to put it on and, and put my finger underneath in order to you know change position of the light it's a bit annoying um, because it happens while i was standing it up that said other than that it's very very premium quality so you get what you pay for if you want to grab a light or two for yourself i will have my kit.co link down below so you can check out my all my entire setup and all my recommendation don't forget to leave a comment down below as well while you're down there don't forget to pop the like button that way youtube will share this video so i can help more people thanks for watching thanks for watching and as usual happy creating